trying to identify the breed of a dog is probably a bit like trying to identify the, um, the cultural heritage of a person. We all look alike, we all have similar characteristics. A dog is a dog. Trying to conclusively say that this dog is of one particular breed compared to the other hundreds of dog breeds that are out there um, highlights the fragility and the subjective nature, the inherent subjective nature um, of what we're dealing with. These are not our laws, but these laws have already cost Monash ratepayers more than $200,000 on two cases alone in um, fulfilling our responsibilities under the Act um, on behalf of a Minister for Agriculture who's missing in action. The, the Minister won't even respond to our letters or to meet with us to discuss how his laws that he's responsible for are failing Victorians. They are costing Monash ratepayers tens of thousands of dollars every year as we try to apply them and the courts um, continue to scratch their head with how they're to be applied. Um, our experience is no different to other metropolitan councils who are having the same sorts of frustrations. Only the other day I heard a news report in the city of Brimbank about a dog there that has been an ongoing saga for even longer than, than our situation with Curza, which has been going for 18 months. Um, these are problems right around Melbourne. And what um, is really required is a bipartisan approach from both sides of Parliament who all agree that our community deserves protection from dangerous dogs, from um, dogs of a particular breed that really should not be out there in our community. Um, and if that continues to be their position, which I understand it, it, it continues to be, then they need to get together and work out how they can legislate to have that effect because the current legislation, the current standard which they are responsible for, and in particular the Minister for Agriculture has a portfolio responsibility for administering, it's failing Victorians and it's failing dog owners.